Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Why did you get on here today and do a MAC video? My favorite MAC products, top 10, and then of course a couple of honorable mentions because I cannot follow the rules. But before I get started, I'm doing this in collaboration with JD. If you don't know JD, she does makeup, she does lifestyle. I have a soft spot for MAC and I have a soft spot for JD. She's given me so many of my Holy Grail products. If you don't know JD, Go over and check her out. She is adorable and you will fall in love with her. So anyway, I'm just going to jump right into this. My first product, the MAC Hot and Naughty. This is a mascara. Now, I always use an Essence, the Essence Sculpted Volume as my first coat, but I could use just this and I used to use just this. I like to layer my mascara. I could use only this. This gives a beautiful buildup. It just has a normal fluffy brush like that and you can hear it's wet. Yeah, it's wet. So it is lovely. And then it's got a, in the same well, you unscrew it and it has a longer brush. It lasts, it builds up great. It doesn't transfer down. And I let myself run out of this for a while and I just got it back and I'm so happy to have this. I bought this one and I bought a backup. Okay, next, the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose. This is my color corrector and I love this. It has a little dirty brush at the end of it and you just twist it and it comes out. I have mine in Radiant Rose and this covers great. This is my Holy Grail mid-range color corrector and I love it. I've tried Marc Jacobs and um, some Urban Decays. Nothing has displaced my MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose. I love that. Okay, next, MAC Eyeshadows. These are so easy to use. They're pigmented, blendable, they go on smooth. The first one I ever got was the Semi Sweet Times 9. This stays in my desk. There's some warms, there's some cools. You can line with that black down there. This was a JD recommendation, and I love this. Then my other one, I'm trying to recreate in a Z palette. This is a Say Chic that you can't get anymore, so I won't really talk about it. I love it so much I'm trying to recreate it because this is actually my daughter's. She took it from me. She's like, please don't take that back. I also have a lot of them in Z palettes. They're seamless. They're easy to put on. They're just easy to work with. Okay, next, the MAC Pro Longwear. I use this every single day. This is a touch-up concealer for me. If I didn't like Shape Tape so much though, I would probably use this as my initial in my touch up. It has a pump on it. The pump is kind of dirty. It has a pump on it and I just do a little pump of this on a Baby Beauty Blender for both eyes. And it is just creamy and smooth, covers well. I think this is a cult classic for a reason. It is beautiful. I have two of these and when I run out, I will get another one. Okay, next, MAC Lipsticks. I have a big soft spot for MAC lipsticks. I just love the formula and they have a million pinky nudes. Cream Cup, which I got from JD. This is a pinky nude that goes on a little bit brighter. It goes on a little, okay, it doesn't look brighter, but it's brighter than some I have. It's beautiful. I love the Cream Cup. I also love, and this is what I'm using up right now, the MAC Blankety. And I think this one is a cult classic. It's a little bit darker beautiful. I love the MAC Blankety. I have on the Blankety today. And then the MAC Hue. I believe I heard about this from Melissa55 as a dupe for maybe Tom Ford Nude Vanilla, and it's a peachy nude, and that's beautiful. Okay, next, the MAC Painterly Paint Pot that I use to for an eyelid primer, and I love it. And every time I think, I don't need that, I can use a concealer instead. My eyeshadow doesn't do as good. This just really makes a nice eyeshadow base. So I really love my MAC Painterly Paint Pot every day of my life. Okay, next, a MAC Lip Liner. I love the formulation of this. This is Spice. That is just the perfect, like a terracotta, perfect with the hue, the MAC hue. I carry this in my purse. I've heard all of their liners are good. Their eyeliners, their lip liners. I need to try more. Okay, next, these are relatively new items, and I don't think I've ever shown them to you before, unless my favorites has already been out. These are the lip glass, and I love them. I think these are an older product that I, of course, am just now discovering. Yeah, this one is Oyster Girl. This just makes any pinky nude just kind of shimmery. Hold on, I'll put a little on. Yeah, I love that. And then this one, 
This one in Angel, and I love this one too because it brightens my lips. Hang on, I'm gonna layer. I'll put a little of this on. And I love this one because it doesn't darken. It just adds more color, but kind of lifts. So I really love that too. These are super nice. Okay, next, their cleansing oil. I had never even heard anything about their skincare, and I got this at an airport over a year ago. Then kind of forgot about it, and then I was wanting to try cleansing oil and thought, I have one in my bathroom. Got this out, fell in love with it. I don't know what kind of oils this has in it, but they're lovely. They get every bit of my makeup off. I just pump like one or two little pumps of this into my hand, do my whole face, and put the residue on my eyes. I haven't noticed it making them cloudy or oily or anything, but it gets every bit of my makeup off. And then what I really like, I can just splash my face. I don't like to get a washcloth out and drag on my face and then have to wash it, and it's just messy. Just splash my face with it, and this doesn't leave any residue. This is so nice. Of course, this is my first cleanse, and then I go, I follow it with a cleanser, but yeah, I love this. Okay, and then lastly, MAC brushes. And I'm gonna tell y'all my favorites. Every day, the 135, the blush brush, it's just shaped perfect for blush. You could use it for bronzer. I love this blush brush. Then the 150S, this is a powder brush and it is perfect. It's not too soft. I don't like a brush that's too soft or too big. I like a kind of more, kind of dense and I just feel like I have more control with this. I had one of these wear out and I replaced it. I didn't think I was going to, but I missed it so much when I didn't have it. It's just easy to use. So I use that every day. And then my favorite eyeshadow brush I use every single day is the two, I think this is 221. I love this brush. It is a great crease brush. I use this for my transition and to blend right over here. Yeah. I love this brush. I use it every single day. And then I have two honorable mentions. One of them is a cult classic, and that is the MAC Prep and Prime. The only reason this probably is not in my actual top 10 is because I don't use a setting spray very often. But when I get overly powdered, I spray this on, it is beautiful. Also spray brushes and it intensifies the color. For shimmers, this is great. That is a classic for a reason. And then the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I love this. I don't know if it's full cover, but it's very blurring. I'm going to put a little on and blend out that blush. Yeah, I love this Studio Fix Powder. If you haven't tried that, it is lovely. So anyway, and that is all of my MAC loves. Y'all go over and check out JD's channel, see what her top 10 products are. I'm going to do the same, and that is all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.